Hey guys, it's Starry Sky, and welcome to my video to do with mental DPS. Now this um, video is going to be looking at the uh, day's loadout I've come up with, and I um, want to share with you guys. Now um, in this video I'm basically going to be uh, showing you how I've managed to get the loadout, the loadout and rotation, a quick guide, and then there's, I'm actually going to put a video at the end of it so you can actually see this loadout in action as well. So, anyway, let's go straight into the PowerPoints. Now, with the setup of um, Legacy, I've tried something a bit different so I'm able to get a more efficient and more powerful loadout. So anyway, so let's go straight into Telekinesis Tree. And I've put PowerPoints in Telekinesis. Telekinetic Push, Psychic Resonance, Telekinetic Bolts, Pyrokinesis, Cryokinesis, and Mass Levitation. In the Illusion Tree, I've got power points in Terra Tendrils, Invisibility, Menace, Horrific Visage, Phantom Flames, Terrorize, and Mass Terror. Now, as you can see, I've only put a power point in Tactical Genius to get the 10% actual critical damage. And if you're wondering, well, how come I haven't put a power point in the 3% critical attack chance? Well, it's just, I'm trying something out. I'm trying to see if losing 3% critical attack chance is actually worth it, or if it's, uh, or do I actually lose damage in the long run. But so far from me trying out this loadout, um, I've got to say the damage um, I'm able to do because I have access to more skills available from being able to save this PowerPoint is probably more than probably more than worth it to be honest. But you can see the video for yourself. Okay, so let's go straight to loadout. Okay, so the loadout from left to right, but please feel free to rearrange this any way you like it. Is menace, mass terror, mass levitation. Pyrokinesis, Cryokinesis, and Terrorize. Now, pretty much what I do is I will use Menace and then Mass, and then mass Terror. And if you're wondering how come I'm not going to go Mass Terror clipped with Menace for, it's because a subscriber was kind enough to give me a tip to basically use Menace first, and then if I immediately use Mass Terror afterwards, I get a double tick. Instead of just a one tick from clipping Mass Terror with Menace. So overall, this makes uh, Menace and then Mass Terror makes the uh, double tick way more damaging since it's AoE. Send so Mass Levitation. Now, since this is also a 60% damage modifier, you want to put the Enduring Damage in uh, White Mod into your hands. So after using this, you uh, permanently have a 20 a 60% damage model for like 20 seconds. So as part of the rotation you'll be using this frequently so all your other skills will benefit from a 60% damage modifier. It's pretty sweet. Plus what this does is um, it does a mass AoE effect of days and also it does um, obviously AoE damage. Now um, the more targets there are the damage does split but we're mostly using this for the AoE days effect. And then afterwards we want to use pyrokinesis this will take advantage of the day's effect and basically give it additional damage and obviously it's going to inflict um, its dot and burn in so it will run two dots at the same time and this is a single target skill but it is really really good and then we have cryokinesis now this will take uh, additional damage from um, the day's effect and it is an AoE so it will hit multiple targets and I've with this skill I've been getting hits of uh, 1.5 to 1.7k crits on multiple targets at a time and it's spammable, it's an instant cast, instant cooldown. So overall this will probably make it better than Telekinetic Bolt since Telekinetic Bolt has a cast time and we only want to be running one cast time skill instead of two. But if you feel more comfortable with it you can easily replace Cryokinesis and put in a TK Bolt. But personally um, I tried to slow that out and it does work, as you'll see for yourselves. And then obviously Terrorize. It's our uh, finishing as soon as the bosses blow or add to 
we want to use this for big crits and to pretty much kill it as quick as possible. Okay, now um, the weapons I recommend for this are either hand blasters, staff, or preferably the best one to use would be the rifle. Because then you can use the right uh, tap range grenade and clip um, the tap range with a skill, giving you more AoE. So literally the rotation behind it is pretty much simple. So which you want to do tap range for the grenade, clip the menace, tap range, mass tap range, mass levitation, tap range, prokinesis, tap range, prokinesis for um, big groups of ads, mass AoE damage. And obviously, terrorize for stuff that's below 35% HP. And um, if you haven't got a big group of ads, then you can always do um, go more single target and go tap range, menace, tap range, mass terror, tap range, mass levitation, tap range, pyrokinesis, and tap range and terrorize. As you can see, since you've already built up with Menace and um, Mass Terror, as soon as you use Terrorize, you probably get about 3 or 4 ticks of Might. So it's a lot of damage in one go. But also, um, for the big group of ads, obviously we're going to be using Menace and Mass Terror. Now we can pretty much do this. Mass Levitation to get the Daisy effect. And then we can go tap range, cryokinesis, tap range, cryokinesis, tap range, cryokinesis. And we'll be constantly doing a lot of AoE damage, especially from the grenade and cryokinesis. It's a very, very spammable skill, but it does hit big numbers once it crits. And it is a 50% damage modifier, but we're going to permanently have 60% damage modifier running from mass levitation anyway. So that's the PowerPoint. Uh, the loadout is relatively simple. Um, and if there's anything that you think could be improved, always leave it in the comment section or send me a private message. But uh, for people that are currently wondering what my stats are at the moment, just uh, so the number they can go. Now, Legacy is not in full. Um, does not have a whole set of my gear yet. I'm only in seven parts and still waiting to get my last part of the might set. But currently, well, so when I get my uh, last part for the might set, I will pretty much and mod it, I will have over 22,850, give or take a few. Because at the moment I've got seven parts, might, and one of them is precision from when I was Earth. Obviously I have the might rings and everything else. So that's the loadout, rotation, powerpoints. Let me know what you think about the iconics about losing the 3% crit chance to um, get the extra skills in. You know, if you think it's good or bad or what. Feel free to try it yourself. Anyway, um, you can watch the video that's attached to this so sit back and enjoy the video I hope you like it and also enjoy the music as well
Let me feed your addiction
drugs and make feed your addiction Let me feed your addiction Green Lantern's life! 